Why are things explained in textbooks? They only have one way of explaining them. They have one, and they think everybody's right now. Well, there's only one way to explain something. If you have a math problem, one and one is three or two. Well, one and one is equal to infinity because if you take one apple, you have all the seeds inside that you can plant trees and make an infinity amount of apples. So one apple equals you know, how how long does that exist? If you take one apple, it means one apple that you're going to eat at that moment. They don't look and say, oh, well, that's one apple, but it has a bunch of seeds inside. Because <clears throat> how long will the problem last? Okay. We have a, uh, we gave a bushel of apples to these people over here. So they only have one bushel of apples. And then 10 years down the road, they planted the trees, and now they have an orchard of apples. And so the king goes to tax them for a bushel, and they have an orchard. And then the king goes, well, we have to tax you for this orchard. Oh, but we only have a bushel of apples. No, you have an orchard. So there, you're going to say that math is one way that the bushel, uh, did the bushel automatically change? Okay, so now you got taxes on an orchard and not a bushel. So now what do you say about a math person saying, well, there's only one way to, to, to uh, announce that there's a bushel is a bushel. No, it ain't there. They, if a king goes to tax an orchard after saying it's only a bushel. What's that called when they reference a bushel to an orchard from a bushel? So it's no longer a bushel. Oh, well, this went off course. Anyway, why do textbooks explain something in only one way? Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better if they explained it? Uh, I mean, if people actually, if, if society advanced to the point where they could say, well, these people think like this, let's put them together. These people think like this, let's put them together. That way all their ideas, when they come up with a solution or they come up with a uh, something in the class they say oh they raise their hand and the rest of the class and go oh, no don't say that because we're thinking dear you know they don't say we're thinking dear but they're you know everybody moans and groans because it has nothing to do with them or it has some you know it's like an obvious and everybody learns different so why don't why don't why do they mix us people up that learn different in the same class why don't you have the classes split up instead of five different classes of, uh, say, they're all teaching. There's five, you know, like in elementary school. I don't know how it is anymore. But when I was in elementary school, we had like four or five classes. And everybody got the same teacher all day long until you advanced in uh, grades. Like, I don't know when it when it was. We started moving. Maybe fourth grade. Fourth or fifth. I think it was fifth. We had up to fourth grade, we had the same teacher. And then fifth grade, we went from class to class. The thing is, all those people, and they'll say in uh, whatever grade, you know, in, in any in any class where you're going to even have the same students, if they're learn, the only ones that make to college are people that, well, no, I can't say that. People think the same way because there's there's got to be something that nobody has looked at for learning, and they think, well, we're not going to. We're not going to come up with all these different ideas because they're only thinking one way and they don't say, well, we're not going to come up with our ideas because they're, they're thinking their one way that's got them through college. The rest of people, well, you're just going to have to come up with your own ways and figure it out and then you can open up your own colleges or universities or schools and teach it your way. Okay, if they were teaching, if other people, other than how it is written now, came up with an idea or their ways to teach, and they were running the school system, then they would be the ones going to college, and all these other people that are now going to college that are teaching it their way, how it's explained their way, wouldn't be able to go to college because it's being taught that way. And I think that's a problem, is the explanations, they, aren't, they don't have multiple ways of explanation because the people that are explaining it are brought up with one explanation, and they don't want to go out track because it messes with their theories, thoughts, and everything else. 
that they think, well, if I start going down that way, then I'll stray off the course and I won't be able to uh, continue my education or learn the same way I do. So, one of these people that don't think the same way and can't get to college is going to come up with their own explanations. I don't mean stupefied versions of the same thing. I mean, maybe maybe people don't realize that they think different. They think, well, we're just stupid. Okay, maybe... Maybe it's just they're not stupid. They just don't think the same way. Their pattern of thought, the way they learn. Because I know I read a lot of stuff. I can get a same uh, books. Uh, say if you're reading something about engines or mechanicals or something like that, they don't all explain the same way. And there are some that explain them in different ways. If you ever looked at different uh, technical manuals, and you'll you can see that the writer writes different forms. Of ex not single right the uh, different books will have different ways of explaining stuff and I know that I've learned in in other textbooks I'll, I'll I'll buy multiple textbooks on something well textbook I don't know what you want to call them uh, technical manuals one I couldn't understand anything if I buy buy another one or whatever to finally well there's one wow this is this is great this is how I understand it and then I can learn down that way. But you don't have that in school. You have one textbook. You got that freaking psychedelic textbook. I don't know if they look like psychedelic anymore. They did when I was going to school. That was a bunch of freaking hippies back then. But uh, Anyway, why don't they explain stuff differently? If they want everybody to smarten up, why doesn't, uh, well, these universities, see, nobody's going to study this stuff. Because they're all learning a certain way. They're all, all they're going to do is experiment on people who think differently. And then say, well, you think differently than us. So that automatically, let's, uh, li we're going to label you a certain way. And we're going to call you this. And we're not going to allow you to uh, be claimed as a college graduate. We're going to say you're an experimental graduate. And that'll, boy, that, you know. And, and then this group over here that does this, they all go to college and universities. They get higher learning. Or automatically, that's that's oppressive. Shoot, I don't know. You, you could use all the other stuff, but it is basically. I don't know if it's oppressive, but it's it's counter to society. Maybe it's counter society. I don't know. Maybe there's not even a word like that. Because if society is only the people that go through higher learning, they're the only ones that explain. In fact, everything is like that. People that are in a, you know, that are popular in society, they're popular for different ways. And there's people that aren't, they, they'll never be able to do the same kind of popularity or gain the same kind of popularity as the people that are popular because they, all the different ways that they become popular, they bond in groups young. And then they explain, well, you know, they all talk to each other instead of these other groups or, well, I'm doing it my way. They're all individuals, whereas the popular people, they group together. I wonder if that's why Democrats are like they are, that they're all these protests, that these popular people, in fact, look at the popular people. Most of them are protesters against all the uh, conservatives. I'm not Republican. I'm not Democrat. I just more like a big picture you look at. But the people that are popular, they talk among themselves and they might choose a leader young and say, okay, we'll follow him, but we'll also get uh, privileged by, you know, appointing a person as a leader and where you have this group and we all support each other and they make it through life and that's how they do it. Whereas these other people, they're individuals, they might hang in groups, but they're still individual and, uh, the people that are individuals that are hanging groups want to look at the other one person as an individual, go out getting messed up or whatever, and everybody will laugh at them, and then they'll they'll all laugh. But they're individuals; they're not bonding as a group except through other people's mistakes. So you got two different types of groups. I'm sure there's a other, but right now that's a quick explanation. But okay, so what I'm trying to say is, why are there not different ways to teach? I mean, there's got to be different explanation for everything. And I've come down to where the people that teach, 
think that everybody else should fall into the mold where it's not possible. It's just through tradition, lineage, and everything, all belief structures. These people that don't learn, can't learn, they say don't want to learn. And the people that do learn and get higher knowledge, uh, even though there's some on the outer fringes of the knowledge, they might be catching it and they might go to higher learning and then drop out. You know, it's basically you got a dropout rate all the way from what preschool all the way up to the highest level of education. There's going to be people that are uh, learning. And that drop out where they don't understand. They're not part of a, maybe it's a, maybe it's almost like popularity. I mean, what part, okay, what part of a political people have gone to college through time? Is it, is there more Democrats graduating? Is there more Republicans graduating? I mean, has anybody looked at that? Of course, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they looked at that or not. I... Anyway, well, this is 11 minutes. Eh. Still, why is there only one way to teach? And sometimes there is different ways, but the textbooks, why aren't there multiple textbooks? Even if there is, I've seen textbooks, they all, basically, sometimes they copy the same words as the original. And they got, they're all saying that they're different how do, how do people get by with that when they uh, almost copy the same word for word and they write different books on it? It's like the news people. They all say the same thing copied from one text. I mean, why write a different book saying the same thing?